Hello, my name is Lokesh Sari. Uh, this this video is about online railway reservation system, where one can book uh, uh, book the train tickets, check the tickets, and cancel the tickets. So, so the name of, name of this application is like GoTrains.com, and the main purpose to main purpose to create this application is like uh, we can avoid standing in standing for hours to get a train ticket and with the help of this application. You can book a train ticket from anywhere in India. So let's get into this. Our technology is used for this case study is like Git. Uh, Git is used for the Git is used for like, Git is nothing but is like a project management. Uh, Git is used to store the track. Git is used to track the changes in source code, enabling multiple developers to work together. And for the data to store in the database, I use the MongoDB. Uh, why I'm using MongoDB over SQL because MongoDB makes it easy for developers to store structured and unstructured data. It uses a JSON like format to store the documents. And for the backend, I use the Java language because Java has many inbuilt security features like advanced authentication and access control, which made it highly useful for web development. And for the Spring framework, and for the, and for the Spring, it, like, it is nothing but like open source application framework that provides infrastructure support for developing Java application. Spring helps developers to create high performance application using plain own plain java objects and for the front end i am using the angular and which in angular we use the basic html and css and for the payment service i use the reserve pay service for this uh, for this application i use the microservice based approach rather than the monolithic because in microservice approach if one service is down the other services will other services will work fine while in monolithic, if one service is down, the whole application will be down. And while in monolithic, if we, if we want to deploy any services, we have to deploy the entire application. While in microservices, we can deploy each service independently. And we can and in microservices, we can give a message to the customer if one service is not working. Like, uh, if this service is not service is taking too much time. Please try again later. So it helps to so it helps the customer like that uh, to understand properly about this website. The uh, architecture diagram of this online railway system. See, as you can see, as I told before, I use the microservice approach. So there so there are seven microservices in my in this application, and all the seven um, uh, all this and Eureka server is itself a microservice. And all this six, uh, remaining six microservices are uh, registered, uh, re registered in the Eureka server. So you can see this. Uh, the remaining six services are re registered in the Eureka server, and each service has its own functionalities. Like in admin service, uh, we can add a train details, update the train details, delete the train details, and for the booking service, all the booking part done in the service. Like one can book a train with the help of train train number uh, and and book a train be between two stations and gator service acts as the route between all the microservices and payment service is nothing but uh, for the booking part uh, after the booking part the payment has to be done so the payment service so the payment service is used and for secure service like a login and sign lo login and sign up if the if the user or customer is new to this application we can we can he can he or she can sign up uh, if the if already registered user he can he can log in into this log in into the application and the train service is nothing but uh, managing managing and tracking all the train details so let's get into this so this is the application uh, this is the home page of this application you can see that the navigation bar uh, and and down to the navigation bar we have a form where we can search that we can search the train between two stations and this is the places to visit and if the if the user the if the user or customer new to the application we can he can or she can see that uh, questions like what are the advantages of online booking you can see that the details of this of a particular question and and down there, there is a footer so you can see this we can see uh, login and sign up buttons in the navigation bar so let's know uh, and so let's now search the search search the train between two stations like so let's suppose i want to search the train between hyderabad to mumbai so i want to click hyderabad and we can we can have a here the form validations form validations also form validations also if if this not 
this if this form is invalid and not uh, not working the search button will be disabled so let's suppose i want to search the between hyderabad to mumbai and there and we can there is a swap option also we can see a swap option also and there is dip, uh, we can book a train uh, with a particular date you can see that for, uh, the previous dates are disabled so i want to book a train ticket at 9th july let's search for the trains So you can see there are three trains going from Hyderabad to Mumbai. So as you can see here, there is a sleeper class uh, AC, AC one, AC two, AC three, and second sitting. So let's let's now suppose I want to book a sleeper class. So there are the application asking to log in first. So by clicking now, okay, the it will redirect to the login page. So we have to log in. If the user is not, if the if the user is new to this application, he or she can sign up here. Now let's log in. So I already I already registered. So I am just directly logging in. If if the password is invalid, it will give message like password invalid also. So after logging successfully, it will give a message like welcome back. So you can see here that uh, the log logger user name like logo sir six four eight, and we can see additional additional buttons in the navigation bar like check check tickets and cancel tickets. Previously there are no there there are no these buttons. So let's now book a train ticket between Hyderabad to Mumbai. So you can see three, three trains going from Hyderabad to Mumbai. Let's, let's now suppose I want to book the sleeper class. So this is the booking page. You can see that uh, details of the train, uh, duration, uh, time duration, uh, the fare breakup, and if you want to add the passenger, we, by clicking this add passenger button, uh, the 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 form the passenger form will open up, and we have to fill these details, and each have its own validation form validations also, and uh, Until all the all the valid sir all until all the input values is filled and valid, the submit will be uh, enabled. If not, submit will be disabled. Let's now fill fill a particular passenger name. Like I want to book a passenger name with the name Lokesh Shari and remain filling the remaining details. Let's now submit. We can see that the submitted submitted passenger list. If you want, if you want to, if if you don't want to book this passenger, we can delete this passenger here or by clicking the delete button. For right now, I want to book this passenger, so right now I'm looking clicking pay now button. So you can see that the updated values of this particular train. Previously, there there is only none values. By adding that, by adding by adding a passenger, we can see the updated values in the the fare breakup. So let's now book the pay now button. It it it's uh, directed to the payment page with the registered with the logged with the login user logged user and and fill the required details like email if a, with with email and phone number. Uh, we we have we have to uh, currently. we have to match the email because for this email the email message will be sent so let's now click the pay no pay button uh just a minute is loading because many microservices are running so this is the test mode so you can see that you can see the register number uh but the uh, the price to be paid and the a website application name so we can see the upi upi payment methods so right now i want to click the net banking method you can see the bank details also let's suppose i want to click the icic bank click pay button you can see it will it will redirect to the razer pay razer razer pay server and it it is a test mode right now it is a test mode so it is asking to the if you want to, if you want this booking like successful or failure right now i want to book right right now i want to book this as a success if you want to if you, if you want to if you want to failure you can there will there will give you a message so if if, if the if it is success it will be a payment payment successful message 
and it will re redirect to the home page and with the left book successfully if we, if we want to check the details there are two methods we can check one can check through the email sent that e the book data the book details will send to the email and one can check through the database right now uh, right now i will show the uh, the book details in the database right now we booked You can see a, you can see there are 24 documents let's now refresh see now there are 25 documents just because just now we booked the train ticket see uh, hyderabad to mumbai Sorry. see uh, see hyderabad to mumbai sleeper class departure time the arrival time and number of passengers we booked you can see here the book, de book the passenger details also like location are 10 uh, the details mail and email address seat number and if you want if we, and the email has sent an email has sent to the particular email we registered to the logged user so just a minute You can see here uh, that uh, that right now message. You can see the date time also seven ten. See the booking success successful booking with PNR number passenger number of passenger we book uh, departure details like uh, train number uh, from train departure time uh, and the price. So this 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 so this is about the booking train ticket. If you want to check the train tickets, like we can go, you can go here. So right now, just now we book now. Let's copy this. Let's copy this piano number. See, we can see here the book details of the particular train. Just now we booked Mumbai to Mumbai to Hyderabad. Sorry, Hyderabad to Mumbai. Uh, start time and end time. But email ID we registered. Coach name, book time, and total amount. If you want to cancel the tickets, we can cancel the tickets here also. Just just uh, you can enter that uh, PNR number. If the PNR number is invalid, it will give a message like uh, PNR number is invalid. So, uh, so it will ask to it will ask. Are you sure? You, do you want to cancel the ticket? If you want to cancel the ticket, enter the yes. If if no, no cancel the. If no, press no button. Right now, I cancel the ticket. The right now both the cancel cancel successfully. Like this, like like this, you can book a ticket, cancel ticket, and check your tickets. Uh, right now, this is the customer. If you want to log in, log in as an admin. So right now. Suppose just we log out and and log in as an admin. Because admin can admin can add details, update the train details, delete the tickets. Where public or customer cannot cannot we cannot add the train. No? So we can see the additional admin admin button in the navigation bar. By clicking on this admin button, we can see the uh, we can see the navigation bar left uh, left to the left. We can see a navigation bar. If we click the trains, we will get all the trains. We will get all the trains. Like uh, not not only Hyderabad to Mumbai, we can see Hyderabad to Chennai, Hyderabad to Bangalore, Hyderabad to Pune, and all that all the train details are stored in the database. And we can and you can add, we can edit or delete the train also because admin can admin can only do it. Suppose that right now I want to add a train as an admin. I like a one seven double two three double two five. 
let's suppose the train number is one one seven double two five and train name is uh, Lokesh Express departure from Hyderabad to I want to Delhi uh, time you can you can give a random time for right now. And I'm booking as a general quota. Run days. You can give. You can give a runner. Run. You can give a runner on this. I'm giving a Sunday on Monday. See, you can. Your train has been saved. If you want to check this train as uh, added or not, just go to the trains. You can see that he. You can see that train is added to the database. One seven two Lokesh Express from Hyderabad to Delhi. You can see the details. So this is the. This is about the application we have built. And some then there are some additional functionalities like a uh, documentation, uh, swagger documentation is nothing but uh, uh, all the rest, all the rest templates method are shown here. So this is the train microservice documentation like like uh, like this we have another six microservices now. So for all there is each there are each server documentation also. For 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 example, I'm giving I'm showing this saga documentation. So, uh, uh, so, this, uh, so, so this is it. I hope you enjoy this video, and thanks for watching.